Okay, it's just about filled with wood. Now, yesterday I made a burn, and these are what you call brands. They're, they're wood that just, the heat had not gotten to the center of the wood, and they aren't just made into charcoal yet. No problem. Just add them to your next batch. And I'll throw these in here. Okay, now it's time to build the fire, and this is critical. The fire is built on top of the wood, and then the fire burns down to the oxygen that comes up through the bottom of the barrel. It's quite a different design than what most people use. Um, just throw some wood chips out here. out today we'll hopefully can get it going in one match or two. It's time to put on the afterburner. Now as that fire starts to build up in intensity, the heat rising will ignite the gases coming off the wood and make a fairly clean burn. But you have to have dry wood. Use the sun to dry your wood that you don't make a lot of smoke. It'll also increase your yield of charcoal. How long does it typically take to dry your wood? <laughs> uh, to dry wood in Pennsylvania, I would like to store it for one year under cover. I have a pile of wood here by my sawmill. Uh, this was cut in the summer. We had so much rain, it couldn't dry out. So I'm going to have to put it under cover and build one of those next year. But here's what's happening. The oxygen for this combustion coming up through the holes in the bottom of the uh, retort. As it comes up through here, the oxygen ignites the hot gases that are being driven off the wood and create a flaming front that as the, char as the wood is reduced to charcoal, the flaming front will move down this barrel. And we'll come out a little bit later and we'll see probably where the burn are on this because that's fresh paint, new barrel, so I'll be able to tell you how it's reacting. And then, to control the amount of oxygen coming in, we use just plain old dirt put around these holes to seal them should the fire be burning more one way than another. The fire always burns to where the oxygen is coming in. With this wind today, the fire will tend to burn hotter on this side. So once the fire gets down to those outlets, I will put the dirt against them, and that will force the fire over to this side where the oxygen is coming in. So you as the charcoal burner can control how it gets reacted inside the burner. And I don't want to stick my head in there, but it's starting real well. This will take about two hours to burn down. The larger barrels, the 55 gallon drums, takes about three hours to do. So let's just let it cook a while and we'll come back in a little bit and see how it's doing.